The day ahead, the Washington Monument is going to start looking a lot different today. That's because they are set to start removing the scaffolding. Our John Gonzalez is live at the base of the monument with what you need to know this morning. Johnny G, it's still pretty behind you, but that's changing. Atria, good morning, and take a look at this beautiful shot here this morning, and trust me, it has nothing to do with me. The Washington Monument always looks great, even with scaffolding, but for all the folks in the D.C. area who started to really get used to and enjoy the light show here on the National Mall, well, it's essentially over, but that's okay because that means our iconic, majestic landmark here in the nation's capital will soon reopen. All of the scaffolding, piece by piece, metal by metal, will start coming down today. And what we understand is that all that scaffolding will shift down the National Mall to the Capitol Dome, where the dome will get a facelift. That renovation project will take about two years. Of course, this is the video. Well, you can never get tired of looking at the actual footage inside the Washington Monument, the very moment the earthquake shook the D.C. area back in August of 2011. And you know, it has been closed to the public ever since. Now, the National Park Service says all of the exterior work, well, it has pretty much been completed. The stonework has been patched up in about 150 places, and hundreds of cracks up and down the 555-foot structure have been filled. How much did all of this cost? Well, we understand about $15 million, and it's going to take about three months to remove all of the scaffolding here. The idea is to have the Washington Monument back up and running by the 4th of July. Reporting live, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.